Previously on Woodbury. We just got our final package from Total Boat with some more primer so we can do a second coat. But first, I'm gonna go around to the entire camper and lightly sand it. Don't know if you need to do that, but I'm gonna do it anyway because it can't hurt. And then later this evening, we will put this final coat of primer on. Guys, I'm super excited to say that iFixit is back this week sponsoring another video. You guys seem to really enjoy all of the iFixit build series and content that we've put out this year and in years past. And I just wanna say that this relationship is flourishing thanks to all of you guys supporting what they do, which is super important to us, and that is fighting for your right to repair. And they do that through selling awesome kits like these. So this is their Pro Tech Toolkit, which is a personal favorite of mine. It kind of has a little bit of everything to get you by with all sorts of projects. They also have a much smaller tool set called the Mako Pre Precision Bit Set, which is also very nice. And then this is a new one to us. This is the Marlin Screwdriver Set. If you're just looking for some precision individual drivers here. They sell all sorts of toolkits like this, but as well as a bunch of parts and guides to be able to fix all kinds of stuff around your house. So next time you have something that's broken, you should check out iFix's website, which I'll leave in the description below. And you might be able to find a simple DIY guide to fix stuff around your house and save you potentially hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. We really love what iFixit is doing and we greatly appreciate their support on our channel. And we're just super happy to be supporting such a great cause that Molly and I both believe in. So if you're interested in checking out what iFixit has to offer, be sure to look at the links in the description below. Let's get back into the video. I could not tell you the last clip that we filmed and it was probably two weeks ago if I'm being a real and honest. Is it really echoey in here? We were waiting for the second coat to dry and it took a couple days longer than what we thought and then it was raining so we couldn't go outside and spray the bed liner on and then I had a family emergency had to go out of town so yeah it's been about two weeks and today is Monday so we're gonna get back on this I'm out to sand the whole thing again I'm not gonna waste your time showing you that because it's just sanding ex exactly what I showed before I think we're gonna roll this thing out today and get the bed liner on which is so exciting we don't have that much left to do so let's go
So from here on out, we have a lot of little things to do other than the bed liner from like here down will be black. But other than that, it's just a lot of small things. I am going out of town again in the next couple of days and the shop is a wreck. So being the good wife that I am, I'm going to deep clean the shop as best as I can so Dylan can get as much done in here while I'm away and doesn't have to worry about a big old mess and has enough room to do everything that needs to be done. So I'm going to do that. I was just walking out into the shop the next day and seeing just how clean and fresh it is is such an amazing feeling. I'm sure many of you can relate to when you're just sort of feeling a little bit overwhelmed in a project, if you just sort of stop and clean up and get sort of a fresh slate, it can really invigorate, you know, the, the project again. You know, Molly was saying that we have a ton of small things that we need to get done and that's true. It's just a sm bunch of small, tedious little tasks that have to get done to wrap this project up. And I couldn't be more thankful to her to coming in and cleaning up the shop while I was working on the computer. And it's just such a great feeling. She's out of town now, so she just got me. And we're going to walk around the camper and I'm going to show you a handful of the things that we need to get done so that we can wrap up this project. Also, before we go any further, I just wanna give you guys a little bit of update on Molly. She is having a family emergency over the last couple weeks, and it sounds like it's gonna be going on for potentially uh, several more months. So she's gonna be in and out of town, doing what she needs to do for her family. I'm gonna be holding the house down, keeping uh, the wild child, you know, tame, and Hopefully trying to get as much as I can get done here while she does what she needs to do. But I just wanted to say that if you guys will just keep her in your thoughts and prayers because her and her family are going through quite a lot right now. And it's really difficult to go through something like that and continue to have the load that Molly has. So I'm trying to take a lot of the stuff off of her plate, but there's a good chance that the video production may go down a bit and that the quantity also may go down so bear with me when it comes to that and uh, yeah you know that's the reason why we haven't posted in the last couple weeks and we've been on such a good schedule but life gets in the way sometimes and it's really important to stop and put work aside and do with your family so here we go let's get into all of the little things that we need to get done starting back here in the galley we need to put formica on the countertop put the countertop back in put the top shelf back in and then the galley is more or less done on the hatch we have a lot of little tedious things including figuring out how we're going to finish the inside i haven't decided if we're going to put some sort of plywood in here if we're just going to clear coat it not exactly sure as you can see we have some overspray here so we need to either get that cleaned up or paint that some more and we also have to do some blocking and wiring in here. A lot of blocking, especially up here where the hinge is gonna go. And just get some of these last minute details in before we can actually put the hatch on for good. On the inside, we need to put the floor insulation down as well as the top final floor piece. But before we do that, we need to finish up our wiring in here, which hopefully goes smoothly and doesn't run into any issues because if you saw some of the previous videos, all of our wiring is running through the walls. And it would be quite difficult at this point to fix a problem so hopefully we got all of that right and then we have to put in the vent fan which i think is going to be pretty simple and oh yeah we have these little lights over here and then one light up here and that's pretty much it in here there's not actually a whole lot that needs to happen on the inside. I need to put a piece of plexiglass on the CNC, cut a circle out with a bunch of little holes around it, and make our little bitty side port window here. 
On the door area, we need to make a trim ring that goes all the way around, which is gonna have a water drip edge on it, as well as where the hinges are gonna get mounted. I wanted to beef this area up, and I also wanted to make it actually stick out off the camper a bit to make it be able to shed water even easier so that hopefully we don't have any issues with leaking down the road. Now the doors are basically done. These are the hinges we're gonna be using, and the window is basically temporarily set in here but they're basically done. They just need to have the windows actually screwed in and the latches installed, and then obviously they need to be hung on the hinges, but the doors themselves are complete. Finally, one of the big things that I haven't done yet that uh, I definitely don't need to forget is I actually need to bolt this whole camper down to the trailer. I haven't done it yet because, well, I've just been too lazy and it hasn't really needed it yet. So we've got to get the trailer bolted down at some point and we have to run the trailer lights as well, which, are, which actually are gonna be on the inside of the cabin. So those will go under the floor too. And then the very, very last detail, once all the stuff is put on, we're actually gonna put a band that goes about 12 inches up of black bed liner on, which is just gonna give us even more rock protection and even more uh, waterproofing, but it's also gonna have this nice aesthetic line, which is going to match up with the dovetail of the door. And it's just gonna go right across the bottom of this door and it's gonna look really, really nice. Now I'm sure I'm missing some things, but that's the basic gist of what we need to be able to get done to have this camper roll out and go on its first trip. So over the next couple of weeks, hopefully I'll be able to wrap all of that up and we'll get this camper build completely done. So that's gonna do it for this week's video. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. It seems like you are. There's just a lot going on that takes a lot of time. It's a very tedious project. It's taken probably twice as long than I, than I expected, but it was quite a big learning curve and we've had a lot of obstacles along the way, but I digress. The project's coming along very nicely and we'll see you in the next one.